Welcome to our next session. Today we'll be learning about the topic user parameters and its customizing. So the topics that we're going to discuss are what is user parameter, system message customizing using user parameter MSV, define default values for the bias using user parameter EBO, define function authorization for bias using parameter EFB. So before we start, let us discuss about uh, what we're talking here is user parameter. What is user parameter? So user parameter is something like whenever we create a profile, like whoever got the login ID into the SAP system, they, everyone have a, got a uh, user parameter. For example, I'm, I can log into this server here using my ID and password. So who, if you get your ID here, you, you also have a, you can also have your own user parameter. So to see your own user parameter, uh, there are two ways you can do it. You can go to SU3 transaction or you can use a menu path. Either I can go to the menu path um, system, user profile and go to own data. If I click that, you will jump to your own ID setup and you can click on user parameter tab. Here you can enter different types of parameter. Now I'll discuss in a minute what is user parameter. Other way to do is you can use the transaction SU3. So here if I go back, use transaction SU3, same thing. It will take you to your user setting. I can go to the parameter here and I got few parameters here. Now let us discuss why we need parameters. Parameters have different uses and we have uh, probably in SAP system there can be thousands of parameters. We don't need to remember all of them. We just need to remember uh, how they work and just a couple of them and their functionality. For example, I have given some example at the bottom here regarding uh, some uh, standard parameters. One is called ECO, EKO, EKO parameter. So what EKO is, is a default purchase org value. So basically user parameter is used mainly for providing any default value. Okay, for default value can be uh, my default purchase organization, my default um, purchasing group, my default plant, default store location, can be anything, default company code, and these types of uh, uh, default parameters we use in purchasing, same way we have in sales, in SD module, we have different parameters like one for sales organization, one for distribution channel, one for division and all that. So if you see this parameter called ECO, E-K-O. So this parameter, if I enter E-K-O here, for my profile, E-K-O, and press enter, you can see this is saying I'm purchase organization. That means what value, what default value I want to use for my purchase organization. Okay, so for example, I can say I want to use 2000 purchase organization number as my default, right? So if I save it, that means wherever, whatever transaction I open here, where system is, is using any um, purchase organization, this will be my default value. I'll show you. For example, if I here, if I go to, if I open uh, where we create a new vendor or open an existing vendor XK02, can you see here 2000? This is 2000. Where is this 2000 coming from? From here. From here. So same way, it doesn't matter if I, you open a uh, creation of a uh, change of a vendor, you open a creation of a vendor, you open a uh, creation of a purchase equation or change of a purchase equation, change of purchase order, everywhere system will default to this value and this can be overwritten. So I can ch change it anytime whenever I want, but that will be my default value. Same way you can see here, you can use this one for purchasing group, LAG for storage location. So these are some standard um, parameters that we can use. Now again, the use can be, for example, if you think about a company where they have different plants, 
Okay, so there can be a plant say thousand number plant in one city. In a different city plant can be say two thousand. In a third city plant number can be three thousand and so on. So all the people working within these plants, we don't want that. So mainly they what they're doing is they just working within their plant and they do not have any authorization for the other plant. So that means they only they are only supposed to uh, create change the data within their own plant. So that means whenever they create a transaction where there, there's a plant used, system should uh, they should always enter thousand number as a plant. For example, if I create a if I'm creating a uh, if I open a material master MM02, here you can see plant is thousand. And if this is blank, suppose that every time they need to enter plant thousand. Not only here MM02, everywhere, wherever there is a plant screen. So using this functionality, they can save some time. So if we make this one as a default user parameter, so next time system will remember or system will propose this one as a default value and they do not need to enter it again and again. So they will not see the blank screen here, blank field here like this and by default and by default it will show them thousand here only. Okay, so in all the transaction um, even if they, there is a transaction called um, MB52 where you can check the stock. We'll talk about this transaction in the next topics here. They can also have a default plant. You can have a default storage location like that. So that is the use uh, of the user parameter. Okay, not only plant you can use in different different objects. Now what we're going to discuss in today's class is uh, there are some uh, important um, purchasing parameters that we can use for different types of functionality. So first of all, we'll start with our user parameter known as MSV. What is MSV? MSV is used in the case of um, where you want to change the uh, messages from, from any transaction. Now what is a message? Let me show you. For example, Whenever you create any transaction, say I'm creating a sales order, oh, sorry, purchase order, and here I will enter this vendor like we did earlier, and say quantity is 10, enter, plant is 1000, enter. Okay, now you can see at the bottom of the SAP screen, it's showing me a warning message. It's showing me a warning message. Warning message is just for a warning only and if I press enter, they will disappear. Press enter, gone, right? So when I talk about messages, we can call it system messages. When you talk about messages, we have three, three types of messages. One is your warning message. Second is your um, error message and third is your no message. So warning is as I just, as just shown you that it's just a warning to warn you and you can ignore the warning by pressing enter. Error message is something where you can't proceed, you can't do anything unless you fix the error. Okay and no message means there will be no message for that particular thing uh, what system is showing you. Now, for example, uh, if, I, if you want to see a warning uh, uh, error message, let me show, let me create a, this one again. Okay, if I press enter here, you can see a war, uh, error message at the bottom, enter plant. Okay, there's a red message. Okay, at the bottom, if I click on this message, you can see in detail, enter plan. This is an error message. Okay, so if I, if I try to ignore this message, I can't. Okay, it will still be there and it